Hello, good peeps. How are you doing? Firstly, uh, apologies for the slight croaky voice. My son is very, very generous with his germs and he's decided to share them with me. Oh, let's get comfy. There we are. Today is a very, very interesting session because of the fact it deals with a question that I've been asked. And when I heard the question, I immediately thought, Oh, Mrs. That's a big isn't it? The reason I say that is because it was this. What is the motivation for it's okay to say to do what it does? See? Told you it's a biggie. So I had to have a little bit of a think about it. And after I thought about it, I came up with this. And this is as close as I can actually get. I would sum it up by talking about your life. So you can either have the attitude that life just sort of happens to you, that you have very little control over it and it just occurs. Or you can think about how you access your life. You can be positive. You can be specific in relation to the way that you can control the things that you can control. Now, the reason I say that is because of the fact that previously we've talked about don't try and do the undoable. Do the doable, ditch the dross. Do the doable, ditch the dross. Stick it in the box. In the box. That was a presentation we did previously. And also the fact that we talk about the power of stop. So rather than you just thinking that life trolls along like this, you can then think to yourself, well, I'm not necessarily going to take that path because I'm going to be the one who controls the stuff that I can control and I accept the stuff that I can't control. And when things go wrong, you put in place the power of stop. And that is literally simply this. You stop. 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 You do not carry on regardless because that is a dangerous thing to do. You should just not ignore what's happening and say, oh, well, I've got no choice, because that is a dangerous thing to do. You can actually physically say to yourself out loud, stop, stop, stop. Now is the time for me to stop and take stock of what is happening and what I need to do in these circumstances, because most people's lives don't go like that. Most people's lives go like that. And there's ups and downs. It's a natural thing. It's not abnormal. It happens to the majority of people. And even the people who supposedly have a blessed life occasionally go through these periods when something happens to them or around them, which is negative. But you can control these things. It doesn't have to take over. I've said many times before, we always consciously aim for simple, practical, and effective. We don't complicate things for the sake of it because that just makes the messages harder to understand for, and, and less people get to benefit from them. You don't have to fly by the of your pants, you can have a positive influence in relation to how things turn out. So when you have actually taken on board the fact that you do have control over certain parts of your life that you can actually attend to and you can actually make that life better or as good as it can be at that time in those circumstances, you sort of feel a little bit liberated, really. Oh, yeah. Because you know that you've done everything that you can to sort things when they turn up. 
We don't look for airy-fairy things like renewal. We don't look for uh, solving problems. We look for you to be the best that you can be in your own special circumstances at that particular moment, for things to be as good as they can be. That is our aim. That is our objective. So as much as I can within a few minutes, that sums up what we think why we do what we do, and what is our motivation for doing it. I know that these things can work for you because they work for me. I am an expert in absolutely nothing except me. I have been there myself. I have had my crash. I've had my episodes. And I know that if you take control, not in a sort of a steer or sort of wow. that type of way, but in that type of way, then you can make sure that things are as good as they can be for you in your life. Hope that's helpful. Speak to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.